strokes like this even though I'm messing up quite a bit
someone will hand 
big one. That gets huge, Cedric. Solange. Roger. No, hit me. I'm playing a, a Sims game right now where my character's name is Noemi. <laughs> so that's funny. Margo. <laughs> Renee. There's a little guy over there. Flo. Just um Violetta. Josetta. Brigitte. Brigitte. Odile. I kind of missed you up here. Oh no. Oh no, it's uh, number one hundred. So I guess that was technically the last one, but not the last one for us. Let's see. We've got eleven more. Lorette. Patrice. There's a bunch of little ones in here. Um Fossif. Olivier. Martine. Oh, I accidentally clicked on Virginie. I was trying to move the but there was no more to move. Uh Denise. Clemence. There's three more cats that I'm missing. Now comes the hunt. Okay, okay. Oh, kitty, 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 kitty. Where are you? So, on, on overall, really not a very difficult seek and find kind of game. Estelle. Yeah, I would say it's not complicated, but then this is the free version, so maybe the other one is. The others are harder. I don't know. Well, how how hard am I gonna have to look for these last two? You know, maybe I thought it was easy just because the first ninety-eight cats were easy. I do really enjoy it in object games, though. Um, I've played, you know, hidden folks. I've played that on the channel. That's really fun. I, I finished it. Oh, kitty, kitty, kitty. Where are you, kitty? Am I blind? Where are the cats? Le chat. Where are you? one in here that I'm missing. Like, I keep thinking that's a cat, but it's not a cat. It's just like a plant. Um, okay, we'll start up here and I'll work my way down and I'll check. So many cats in Paris, am I right? This is misleading. They make you think it looks like a tail or something, but come on, is there a kitty somewhere in here? Oh, is that like a hint? We may have to go for a hint. Hidden object games are tough to play though because you may be looking at the screen and you may see it, but you can't tell me, can you? You can't quite reach through the screen and tell me, which is a shame. So then it's frustrating that you see it and I don't, you know, so that's why overall I like to keep hidden object games to myself. Like, I don't want to play them because people are very mean <laughs> to me <laughs> when um, they see something I don't. Like, I understand that that's frustrating, but that's not really an excuse to, like, call me names, right? <laughs> okay, I may go for the hint. Either my eyes are just totally glossing over it, or they're quite tricky. I'll zoom out. Wow, I can't even like zoom out all the way. It's quite a big uh, image. Let's do it. Oh. oh, okay. All right, so there is one in here. That's interesting. I still don't see it though, even knowing there's one here. Like this, these like little bushes are very tricky. It, there, it was like kind of indicating like this region and I'm just looking like there's no cats like right in here. So I keep thinking it's like down here. I'm 
seriously not that's a bird so he doesn't count <laughs> wait he turned red though do I get like a I didn't get a notification for him I thought maybe our little bird friend would can I can I color in the birds I don't know maybe that's a, a notification I have no idea actually okay maybe in the plants hidden here Am I blind? Am I blind? For real? Yes. This is so hard. Why am I so bad at this? The first 98 were so easy. Okay, then there's another one in this. Oh, you. Uh, Emily. Come on. This one. Show me the general. Wait. Wait, there's one here. Oh yeah, here. Oh. That was Yolanda. So, those were the kitties in Paris. Oh, uh, look at that. We got fireworks. So overall, very, very short and sweet game. So, you can play that for yourself if you want. Oh, 
it. That's so cute. I'm singing to it. <laughs> um, this is open in a window, so you can have this window up while you're doing like other things on your computer. So it's just like a little thing to keep you company through the day because our plants are slowly growing in real time. For real. Real time. So you're not gonna really see any progress here. Um, but I just think that that is really cool. So it's like a really peaceful zen kind of deal that you can, um, you can just keep it up and you can check back in. Like, if you need like a brain break, if you work from home, you know, and you want to pop back in and just check on how your plants are growing. Isn't that cool? So you're nurturing the succulents in real time. You can just enter for a D for some peace and quiet. Keep it open in a second window while you work. You can check in your plants as a meditative moment every night. While not fully realistic, because it's a very forgiving kind of game. The succulents require some maintenance, and they, oh, they can die from over or under watering. See, that was my problem. I'm pretty sure I overwatered my plants, my, one of my succulents. So, it's free to try. It comes with your choice of plant assortments, and if you think it has a place in your life, you can buy your favorite plants from the in-game nursery for just a few cents a piece. Yeah. And weekly, they'll send you, like, a free seed. I still don't understand how to... Oh, and you can name the plants, by the way, which I think is really cute. So, if you, like, you're like, oh, I really like this one, you can give it a name.
the 